Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the greatest games of all time. So today, I decided to bring Five Nights at Freddy's into Minecraft. First, we're gonna turn this zombie into Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's color everything in purple. And now we can start adding on the body. Let's throw on that chest piece. And you know, we can't forget the bow tie. Let's start building out the arms. And we'll also throw on some fingers. We'll do the same for the right arm. We'll start adding on the leg. And we'll slide on the toes. We'll make our other leg the same. And now we need to add on that big head. We'll keep this as our base shape. And we can't forget about those red eyes. And my goodness, these look creepy. Now we'll start adding on the ear. And that looks pretty good. We'll add the same ear to the other side. And wow, our Bonnie looks terrifying. Let's go ahead and spot in Bonnie. Oh my god, that looks perfect. Look at the way its head moves. That's so creepy. I think we need to spawn in a bunch of bodies. Oh, I might have spawned in too many. But we're actually gonna have all those bodies fight three mutant zombies. Let's see who's stronger. Come on, Bonnie. You can win this. You can win this. There's like 500 bodies and only three mutant zombies. So there's no way the bodies can lose. Oh my gosh. Everyone's getting thrown in the air, but this looks like a beat down. Oh no, the mutant bodies. Oh no, they're starting to go down. Come on. And the bad thing about the mutant zombies is they have like three different lives. So even if they go down, they'll just get right back up. I mean, just look at that guy. He just fell down, but he's about to get right back up in one second. And oh my God, he's getting back up. Come on, team Bonnie. We can win this. Come on. Surprisingly, there's still a lot of Bonnies left though. And oh my gosh, the Bonnies finally took out one. And now they took out another. There's only one left. And man, he's dead too. Team Bonnie wins. Now we're going to turn this Enderman into Chica. We'll start by coloring everything in and then we'll take off everything except our body. Let's give it the same shape as Bonnie, but we can't forget about that big white bib. Let's use our same arm style. And of course, we'll do the other side. We'll make the start of the leg the same, but we'll make the bottom part orange. We'll also make the toes for Chica and then we'll just add the leg to the other side. Of course, we can't forget to draw and let's eat. And yeah, my handwriting isn't the best. Let's start building on the head. We'll start adding on the beak and I think that looks pretty good. We can't forget about those eyebrows and we'll also add on those creepy eyes. Chica also has some feathers on the top of her head, so those look pretty good. And wow, I think our Chica looks great. Let's see how Chica turned out. Whoa, that looks so freaky. This thing is just terrifying to look at, but hey, we love those pink eyes. I don't know who's better so far, Bonnie or Chica. Comment down below which one you like better, but you guys already know since this is an enderman, we have to spawn in a bunch of these, and that looks like a good number. Let's see if those Chicas can take out two mutant endermen. And the fight has begun. Oh my god. I forget how strong mutant endermen are, but I think the Chicas can take them out. And wait, the other endermen just disappeared. This is like a 1v20 now. Come on, Chicas. Oh, the other endermen's back. Oh no, what's going on? There is so much chaos happening. I can't even keep up. Oh, it looks like the Chicas took out one. That guy is done for. And I don't see the other one. I think he just ran away scared. Next up, we're going to be turning the skeleton into puppet. We'll color all this in black, and then we'll just start working on our body. Let's go ahead and add on this body frame, and we'll also add on our three buttons. Let's add on these long arms, and for the second part, we'll add on stripes. We'll give it the same hand as the rest. We'll add this arm to the other side. Now we'll make these long legs. Of course, the bottom will still have those stripes, and our other legs are going to be exactly the same. Now let's add the head to this puppet. This is looking like a good base. Let's throw on this white mask, and we'll also throw on these red cheeks. And yeah, this is absolutely terrifying. Let's see how the puppet turned out. That is just terrifying to look at. You know, I kind of forgot to texture the left arm, but that's okay. Oh my God, that is just, that's so wrong on so many levels. But you know, it's okay because we're going to spawn in a bunch of these guys. And all the puppet has to do is take out a couple mute skeletons. And the battle has begun. And oh, what is going on with their arms? They're like crossed. That is just not right. And it looks like the skeletons are getting absolutely destroyed. Oh man, this is a slaughter. I feel so bad because I set them up for complete failure. And now there's not a single puppet living. I'll take revenge for the puppets. All of you die. Next up, we're going to turn this husk into Foxy. Let's start with this nice red color. And of course, we're going to start working with the body. We'll start off with the same base like the others, except we'll color on the bottom brown. Let's give Foxy the same arm. And the arm's going to look similar on the other side, except we're going to start building on a hook. 
and I think this looks pretty good. Let's extend Foxy's leg, and we'll also give him some toes. Our other leg is going to be exactly the same, and now we can add on the head. For the most part, we're going to structure it the same as the others, but we can't forget the side pieces of the fur. We'll also give him some grimy teeth, and we'll add this hair to the top. Foxy has these creepy yellow eyes, and we can even give him one of these cute ears. Foxy has a patch over his right eye, so we'll add that in. And wow, Foxy turned out perfect. Now let's see how our boy Foxy looks. Oh, that looks so freaky. I think it turned out pretty perfectly, honestly. I'm not the best texture in the world, so don't yell at me in the comments. Let's spawn in a baby husk, and aw, that's actually kind of cute. Just kidding, you're absolutely disgusting. Now let's make sure to spawn in a bunch of these guys. And on the other side, we're gonna spawn in some mutant oglins. Oh God, this is not gonna go well for the Foxies, but come on, I believe in you guys. Oh wow, they're already all dead. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, they're already all dead. It's been like five seconds. Now as a bonus mob, we're gonna be making this Vindicator into Withered Bonnie. And for this, our body and our legs are gonna be the same. Except for the arm, we have to add in some wires. We'll slide in this last grouping and perfect. Let's slide in these nice red eyes. We'll also give them some ears and our jaws basically gonna be the same as the others. But for the face, we have to add in some more wires. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now across the body, we're gonna carve out some pieces just to make them look more withered. And perfect, our withered body looks great. Oh my God, withered body looks awesome. I don't know, is he better than the original Bonnie? If you like the normal Bonnie better, comment team Bonnie. But if you like withered Bonnie better, comment team withered Bonnie. And for this one, we're gonna spawn in a bunch of withered bodies. And we're also gonna spawn in some normal bodies. And we're gonna put all of them against a huge frost mount. Oh God. And let's see what's gonna happen. Oh God, they're angry. Come on, we can do this guys. You can beat the frost mouse. It's actually looking good so far. Nope, they got absolutely destroyed. Oh God. Come on, the frost mouse are low though. You guys can pull this out. Come on, this one's almost dead. And yes, they took out one. There's only one left. Oh, look at those little demons. What the heck? The withered bodies literally aren't doing anything. You guys are so useless. But the baby bodies are destroying it. And boom, they took it out. Team Bonnie wins. And lastly, we're gonna be making this iron golem into Freddy Fazbear. Let's color the whole thing this brown. And now we can start working with our body. Freddy has the same body as Bonnie, except we have to make this bow tie black. Let's throw on Freddy's arm and we'll add on the other side. But for this side, we're gonna add in a microphone. Let's give Freddy the same leg and same for the other side. We'll give him the same face as Chica and we'll throw those horrifying blue eyes. We can't forget about that iconic hat and we'll also slide on the ears. Finally, we'll give him the same jaw and man, our boy Freddy looks terrifying. Now let's see how our boy Freddy looks. Oh my God. This actually looks so perfect. Those eyes are terrifying still. And the little microphone, so cute. And he has that nice iron golem animation so that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and spawn in a bunch of freddies and that looks like a good army and we're gonna put the freddies against a couple of t-rexes oh god come on freddies you guys can do this i believe in you oh wow the t-rexes are oh my oh my god oh my god the t-rexes are getting destroyed this bro the t-rexes just got ran through this will not do we need to put in some mutant zombies oh god this is an absolute beatdown what the heck is happening i can't even tell who's winning there's so much going on we actually think the Freddies are winning. Come on, Team Freddy, you guys can do this. There are only four more, three more mutant zombies left. This is the last one, and boom, Team Freddy wins. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.